After um, reaching the big 40 milestone two years ago, I saved up enough finally to buy my own house, which, you know, that's probably an average thing for normal people, but when you're on a single wage and, and whatnot, I'm pretty proud of, of what I've done buying here and um, having my own business, working as well. And um, yeah, now building these stables. So Rome wasn't built in a day. There's still a few more things that have to be done to them, but I think it reflects the horses are happy. It's, it's lovely and quiet. My neighbors are, are lovely old couples that just potter around and, um, and whatnot. And if the horses are happy and I'm happy, well, everyone's happy. We were up at 2.33 in the morning, always someone else, you know, walking around this too with their horses or, or loading up and whatnot, because we are such a close-knit family and, and community. been a hobby for me so um, and carrying on a, a generational thing like both grandfathers were trainers and my father and uncle and sisters and, and whatnot so it was it wasn't so I was pushed into it but it was always a natural progression so um, you know I was just happy to take horses to the bush and support all those community race meetings that I grew up with and and now as I get a few better horses and owners yeah it's nice to see the the fruits of it all coming through all the hard work and um, yeah I can I can hopefully keep going getting a few more winners when I first started out I was given probably a lot more opportunities than the average person because I, I knew so many people in racing and whatnot but you never stop learning and I think I got more confidence in myself. I always had the basics to, to train and obviously growing up in it and, and working for other people. But yeah, it's all about confidence. It's the same with the horses. They need confidence in themselves and I just had to be confident in the decisions that I made with them. And I think I'm definitely more confident with, within myself now. Both grandfathers on both sides um, were, were trainers. My uncle was a jockey. Dad, yeah, always trained horses himself and had horses with Errol Sewell. Uh, so there's a lot of history there. My mother was uh, secretary of the Prairie Jockey Club, which was our hometown for about 30 years. Um, both very active in committees of, of the grassroots levels. So all well, those volunteer kind of based race meetings I grew up with and kind of learnt the, the good work ethic of, um, of getting race meetings and, and helping them for the community. Um, yeah, so definitely a lot of, lot of history. <laughs>